What's up guys, it's Ryan. I'm back again with another tutorial. This time it's a riff tutorial. Uh, this one is the outro riff of the new Chan song, Sleepy T. Um, when I first saw the Sumerian Records promo video for the new album and I heard this riff, I was like, I have to learn that. It's super cool sounding. Um, so I finally figured it out and um, this is what it sounds like. It starts at around two minutes and three seconds. So here it is. So happy. All right. Okay, so let's get into it. First thing to note is I'll be using a pick, um, but as is common with most Chan songs and riffs. Um, we'll be hybrid picking, which means we're using the pick and the rest of our fingers in conjunction. Uh, for example, the first chord of the song. We'll be picking and playing at the same time with the rest of our fingers. So get used to that. Um, and here we go. Standard tuning. The first chord is this. A quick staccato chord, and it's 10th. My index finger is on the 10th fret of the low E. Middle finger, 11th fret of the G. And pinky is on uh, the 14th of the... B. And I'm playing that with picking, uh, middle, and ring. And then we come to this um, this next section here, which is so we have a high E, pinky finger, I'm playing the twelfth and pulling off to nine. That's a downstroke with my right hand. And then I play twelve with my pinky. On the, this is important, by the way, the uh, the fingerings. I watched it a thousand times, and I'm fairly sure that these are the fingerings that are going on uh, for both hands. So, pinky to index, pull off 12 to 9 on the high E. Then I have 12 with my pinky on the B. Ring comes down to 11 on the G. And middle comes down to 11 on the D. Then hammer on with my ring finger to uh, 12 of the D. And my index finger comes back across here to play the ninth of the G. So all together we have... Now the important thing going on in the right hand is that this pick pull-off, the first note, is a downstroke pick then a pull-off. And then I have um, upstroke, upstroke, upstroke for the next three. Um, so we have... So these uh, 12, 11, 11 are all upstroke sweeps. And then a hammer on. And then finish with a downstroke on the 9. Um, so, so far we have. And we're going to move over to this shape. And this is index on the high E of the 12th. Um, middle finger on the D, D string, 14th fret. And here I'm picking and playing with, well, I suppose it doesn't matter which finger, but I'm personally using uh, my ring. Uh, the reason for that is because the next note is this ring finger is going to hit the 14th of the B. And I'm going to use my middle finger to play that. So I have ring, middle. So we have... Uh, this is 12 on the high E, 14 on the D, and then 14 of the B. And this middle finger slides down a fret to 13, and this index finger jumps up a string to the other 12, so. And here I'm playing again ring and pick, and the ring fingers are gonna come down to 14th on the G, which I'm playing with my middle. So I have pick and ring, middle, Change spots, pick and ring, middle. So. Oop. So that's what we have so far. Uh, now the tapping portion of the lick, which um, is going to sound weird, but I'm, I'm very confident this is what's going on. Uh, after watching a lot of the live videos and and uh, the promo video itself, 
Um, we're going to tap on the 21st fret with our ring finger and then immediately onto the 19th fret with our middle. So these two notes. Um, in the left hand, I'm holding this shape. It's 7 on the G with my index, my pinky's on the 10th of the B, and my ring is on the 9th of the high E. So after this, I'm, gonna, I'm fretting this shape, but I'm not playing it yet. I'm going to tap ring with my, uh, on, the, on the 21st. And I'm going to roll my fingers across. So ring down, middle down, then roll and pull off. This, this pinky is not pulling off onto the 9. It's just sort of playing and then letting go. It's not doing this. Play, tap. This note, however, is pulling off. So you're sort of tap, tap, and then rolling off of this middle. And I'm immediately going to use my middle to jump over to the 17th fret of the B. So tap, tap, pull, tap, and then strum down. So pull off and strum the high E on the way out. And that's going to play this 9-10 shape over here. And then I come down to this triad, which is a minor shape. My pinky's on the 9th of the A, middle on the uh, 7th of the D, and index on the 6th of the G. Play it and slide out. So all together that is... So this, this jump is pretty difficult to do, and especially to uh, uh, get all the tapping notes out. So. Then we come back to the same exact shape, it's just moved, every finger, same frets, are just moved up a string. That's still 9, 7, 6, this time of the E, A, D, so... Let me move on, so... It's like just a quick strum. You have my middle is coming over to 10 of the low E, and my index is playing 9 of the G, 9. My ring is playing 10 of the uh, B. And instead of playing them like we played the first chord, which was all together, we're playing pick, then finger pick with the middle and ring. So. So now we set the second part of the riff. This is uh, pinky on the 14, 11 and 11, so I'm barring with my index finger of the G and the D. Oops, sorry. And that's all up, 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 quick sweep, hammer on, pick. this shape here, which is similar to the first shape, except my index is landing on the 12th of the B this time, and my uh, middle is on the D string 14th. Same thing, they're gonna... That's um, 12, 14 of the B, then back to 12, then 14 of the G. And as we're doing that, your middle finger is moving from 14 to 13 in the D. So. Then the, <coughs> excuse me, the final tapping section, uh, similar to the first, except instead of fretting 7, 10, 9, like we did the last time, we'll be fretting 7, 10, 10. So this 9 is changed to a 10 on the high E. Same thing over here. Tap, tap. 21 to 19 of the high E to the G. Except this time, you are going to pull off of both notes. 
suppose you don't have to because they're an octave, but it does sound kind of cool anyway. Actually, yeah, pulling off to this 10 I think is a good idea because you have... Uh, yeah, alright, so tap tap, pull off, and then again middle finger to the 17, just like before. Except this time we pull off, and then my middle finger comes over to 16 of the G, and slides to 18. So tap, tap, pull, tap, pull, tap, slide. And this chord is a standard um, A major bar chord, starting on the fifth. We're playing bass note, and then the rest of the chord. So you have uh, So um, that's the beginning of the riff. Now, when it repeats, it does all that nonsense again, and then instead of playing um, this outro, once we get to here, we play this. This uh, this new outro. Um, and what this is is uh, so we go. And this is uh, from here. My index is going to ten on the B. And my uh, middle is going to D, uh, twelve. And I'm doing a hammer on with the ring. Picking it with my uh, ring finger over here. Hammering on the B string to 12. And then hammering on from nowhere to 13 of the G while holding this. Or you could use your pinky to come around. I'm going to use my ring to do both. So you have. Then we come down to this shape. This is 9, 7, 9, starting on the A. So 9 on the A, 7 on the D, 9 on the G. And I'm going to be, you can strum it, or you could uh, hybrid pick it with uh, your middle and ring. Either way, you're playing, playing the chord, strumming so you can hear, instead of, you're playing it so you can hear each note, like rolling through the chord. And then my pinky is hammering on the 11th of the D from nowhere. And then you're playing this. So if I take these two nines away that I'm playing and just leave the seven, after we hammer on, we pull off and then hammer, hammer. All on the D string, seven, nine, 11. last thing is your index come over and hit this A in the 8th um, fret. And then ordinarily you would go back to the beginning. Back to the beginning of the riff. Um, the second time you play it, when um, the drummer, when Nathan, is going nuts and you know doing all these fills and there's a wah, there's a wah pedal going over the riff. Um, the last time he plays it, the song is done and it goes to that outro strummy thing, and um, that is this shape. So you have, which is 10 on the low E uh, with my middle, pinky's playing A string 12, and my index playing 9 string, I'm sorry, 9th fret of the D, and my um, ring is playing 11th fret of the G. So it's like two fifth chords, 10, 12, and 9, 11. So. so that's the whole riff. Um, I'll give it a try super slow because uh, I'm horrible at it. I, there's something about Tron riffs that just make my head explode. I can't play them. I, I don't know why, but uh, here it is at super slow man speed. Uh, here we go.
So that's that. Um, I think that's what's going on um, after watching a lot of live videos and the promo video itself. Um, plus, it just seems like the type of shit that they would write, which is really annoying, but I love it. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, let me know if this was helpful or if I got something wrong, perhaps. Um, I often find that a lot of the tabs that you look up um, on the internet are usually wrong. I don't know why that is, but I stopped looking at tabs ages ago because I, I always found that I was hearing things differently than what I was seeing in the tabs, so I just started to depend on my ear um, first and then maybe consult them afterwards. But I found that um, ear transcription as well as video is the best way to learn stuff, so that's how I do it. So if, um, if I got anything wrong, let me know, or if this was helpful. Otherwise, um, please leave a suggestion of something else that I can cover. Usually these videos are inspired by me wanting to figure something out for myself, but a lot of the times people send me emails or leave comments and they ask me to tackle something. So um, if you have a riff or a solo or something, or, or just a technique that you're not sure what's going on, um, leave a comment, let me know, and I'd love to take a look at it. So thanks for watching. See you later.